Hey, Clint Beastwood fans, it's your boy Clint Beastwood, except what, what, what? It's not. Um, I've had a name change. <laughs> I, um, my, uh, my mate pointed out to me that there is another <laughs> Clint Beastwood on, um, on YouTube with, uh, with like a bazillion subscribers, <laughs> whereas I've got my, my cool 13. Hey, I'm happy with my lot, all right? Um, <laughs> but you know what? I guess, like, maybe, um, maybe like two or three or four or five or 13 of those dudes thought I was the other guy or something. So, I thought I should change my name. So, uh, well, last night, Dorty Harry was born. Um, but my bud, Bort Deluxe, he suggested, um, I gather with a, a skin full of wine in him, suggested I, uh, I, uh, change my name to Harry Callahan instead. Which I think is outstanding. So hey, I have uh, I've been reborn as Harry Callahan, obviously, or maybe not so obviously, a reference to uh, to Clint Eastwood's character, um, uh, Harry Callahan, Dirty Harry. I am Harry Callahan because I'm a Harry motherfucker. Um, and hey, what better way to celebrate than shooting some revolvers, a la Harry Callahan? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, we are, hey, in the background, well, hopefully you can hear it, um, I'm listening to the uh, the Dirty Harry soundtrack, which is tremendous. Um, it's a beautiful way to wake up. It's early in the morning, um, because that's when I make most of these vids now. I uh, I, I was working late last night. Um, I got home like 11, half 11 or whatever. Um, so I'm getting a bit of a lie in the day. I do have some shit to do in town. Um, I have to go suit shopping, which is very nice. Um, but I, I thought I'd make a quick video first to celebrate uh, the birth of Harry Callahan and to shoot some fucking wheel guns. So, um, we're in the warehouse range in 83 VR. Um, this little setup here um, will allow us to, uh, it'll pop up some targets. And I'll, hey, I'm just gonna shoot them. We'll talk shit and I'll talk a bit about these revolvers. A little bit because, hey, I don't know that much about revolvers. Um, so, I'll explain what this guy does. I like this thing because it looks kind of rickety and um, uh, and silly. I mean, the whole game is just full of personality. I think that's it's, it's really nice. Um, so, this thing's going to pop up a bunch of targets in front of us. We're going to shoot them. Um, so, it explains here how it works. So, we pump in some digits. The first digit is the number of targets. Um, uh, let's go for, say, five targets. We're shooting wheel guns. Um, so, most of them... Well, you know, some of them hold six, some of them hold seven shots, some of them hold more. Um... So we'll go, we'll go with five targets. Give us a bit of room for error. Second digit is the number of waves of targets. Uh, you know what? Let's go... We want shitloads. Let's go for nine. Uh, third and fourth digits are the number of seconds to shoot the targets. Uh, so, I don't know, like ten seconds? That seems like a lot. But hey, I'll, I'm going to need to reload um, in between. Yeah, for comfort, you know, it's going to be a comfortable video. It's early in the morning. I'm sipping my Lapsang lap Shuzhan. Um, after a brief dalliance with the Yorba Mate yesterday, a South American tea, which you'll know if you've seen my latest truck vid, um, which of course you have, of course you have, let's go 12 seconds, um, so we'll find the targets up in a minute, this guy here adjusts how close or far away they are, let's just stick it somewhere in the middle, I love that sassy ass film score, um, <laughs> it's great. Just great. Uh, we'll talk more in a minute about uh, about Dirty Callahan himself. You know what? What I'm going to do is wipe. Uh, I'm getting all steamed up. I'm going to wipe the uh, wipe my glasses a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. See, this is something they never tell you when you get involved in the VR world. As a glasses wearer, you can be wiping shit all the time. Not wiping shit all the time. God, that's disgusting. So hey, we're talking Callahan. You know what? Well, obviously, this is the 44 Magnum here. Uh, sick. Um, the Callahan uh, special. Let's build up to that, shall I? Sure, eh? Um, drop my little speed loader there. We're going to start with the uh, 357 Magnum. I keep dropping shit! Um, so, uh, this guy here spawns our different uh, weapons and rounds. Let's, uh, let's grab the... Uh, 357 speed loader. So yeah, uh, what do we have here? I think it's a Smith and Wesson. Um, uh, it's beautiful, uh, beautiful 357 Magnum. Um, uh, Dirty Harry references uh, this gun in. Oh shit! What movie is it? Is it The Enforcer? I think the third movie where he's got a, a partner and hey, guess what? She's a woman. 
um, which is, uh, you know, for Oil Harry Callahan. That's um, quite the thing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, lots of most of Harry's partners end up dead. Uh, uh, just as an aside. Which is um, <laughs> it's one of my favourite tropes of the, the series. So this is a beautiful gun. Um, I love the way they've kind of realised this. Like they have all the guns. Uh, it um, it's in stainless steel. You can even see the little, like sort of little like when I tilt this in front of me, I can see it glinting the light. And you know that should translate to what you guys are saying a bit. I don't think it quite captures it um, uh, fully, but you should get an idea of it. It's even got little sort of. Uh, smudges little fingerprints you know on the areas of the gun that we most use like uh like where we're popping out the uh the um the wheel and stuff spin that round beautiful really cool got our ergonomic uh handle grip here um this is, this is a fairly modern modern revolver so it's got some modern trappings you know we've got the uh angled barrel and stuff um we've got a rail on the top it says sector effect i don't know what that means um it sounds badass though um uh, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, see, again, I've mentioned this before in this game, the illusion of weight. It feels kind of heavy. I've got the, um, uh, I've got, like, a, a an air pistol, uh, Dan Weston 357. It's great fun. It's fantastic to keep it in my desk drawer beside me so I can pretend like I'm a, like I'm a hard-bitten cop or a PI or something. Because, you know, I'm a big, uh, a big child. Um, I mean, uh, just double action revolver. Um, we can... Pull the hammer back and shoot it single action style, or we can just cycle through the barrel or cycle through the wheel with um, with one trigger pull. If we do this, it'll uh, shorten the distance we need to pull the uh, pull the trigger. So it's kind of a little more of a not quite a hair trigger, but um, come on, this is all steamed up. You can't see shit. You have to wipe it in a second. Um, hey, you enjoy the. Uh, the sounds of the the Dirty Harry soundtrack there. I'm gonna wipe. Uh, I'm gonna wipe my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna, just gonna wipe the uh, wipe the glasses here. But, um, I did do this before I started the video. I should say I'm not that much of a of a chump, but um, hey, I guess I'm such a hot steamy dude that's got steamed up again already. Um, so hey, have some small talk. Small talk. I, I I trust you well. Um, yeah, back on the the Lapsang Shushong tea uh, today. After a dalliance with the Yerba Mate yesterday, a South American energy brew helped to, uh, well, it's designed to sort of suppress, no, no, it's designed to give you energy, uh, but it's also meant to suppress your appetite and help with weight loss and stuff. Um, hey, you know, I can probably do a and a couple of points on kind of holiday went. Didn't really help yesterday because, you know, as I mentioned, it was a long day. It worked. I ended up having like um, 10 meals or something. Um, so, Yerba Mate, suck my balls. Um, Okay, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Fuck, we're so far into this video, we haven't even shot around yet. Um, just checking where we got our tunes going. Uh, yeah, we're still A-OK. -okay. So back to the 357. That's playing the, the same score again. That sounds like the main score. Um, Nalo Lilo Schifrin, maybe, is the dude. How did the score? I can't quite remember. Um... So, we got our rounds here. Harry holds seven, I think. Seven. These are uh, chambered in 357, as I said. Dirty Harry references this in, as we started to say, The Enforcer. I think it's The Enforcer, where his uh, his partner's having a chat to him about, uh, about guns. I think she's kind of suggesting <laughs> that, ob that Harry obviously famously carries the, the 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, as he says himself. Uh... She says, you know, why don't you carry... I think she's suggesting that he's compensating for having a, a miniature wiener or something. Um, and he's saying, no, no, it's... It, it, like, you've got a cop to carry a, a heavy gun, you know, he, he sees cops carrying, like, uh, two twos, and they bounce, you know, he sees bullets ricocheting off windscreens and stuff. And he, he says he needs someone, you know, who's going to destroy the target. He does say... He does say... He doesn't write off the 357. He says it's a great gun. Um, which, you know... Even to concede that seems uh, that's like a Callahan seal of approval. So we'll start by shooting this. Uh, yeah, let's pop up some targets. Eh? We'll see how far away oh, these targets are. Might be a bit close. Oh no, there that looks about right. So let's see what we're like here. Hey, six, five for five. Not bad. Let's take it for another rattle, sir. Uh, 
bad, not bad. Oh, this is a fucking score! Ho oh ho! Yeah, that's some real badass shit. Oh, hang yeah. on. Target's right, but I ain't ready. Move fast. Not bad, dudes. Not bad. And, um, yeah, let's go again. Let's go one more time with 357, eh? See if we can, uh. See if we can. Go 4 for 4. Not bad. You can see down there it's keeping a score. Don't really know what that relates to, um, because I've, uh. You know, I've been hitting all my targets. Let's leave those for a second, and we'll put the 357 down. We're going to wait for a little bit longer before we try the, uh, the 44. Because I'm a dirty little tease. Uh, let's take a look at this guy here. You know, truth be told, I'm not entirely sure what this is. If we look at our weapon spawner over here, it'll pop it up. I know it's chambered in 38 Special. Uh, the, model, the Model 10. Uh, 38 special. I mean, judging by it, it's, it looks like an old gun. Um, is it double action? Yeah, I think so. Um, hey, you know, you know what I would quite like is if they told you a little more info on the on each weapon. Maybe it's a licensing thing or something. I'm not too sure. Um, but hey, looks cool. Looks like uh, looks like it's uh, you know, it's been around the block a few times. That's that's cool in and of itself. Um, so we'll pop our round here. Click this button to make it respawnable. I know that the, the targets are working away here. Sorry, let's, let's chill out. You know, we got time. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. And um, no speed loader for this one. Just pop the round in one at a time. So Harry Callahan is a dude that uh, just, you know, he just couldn't exist in... Uh, uh, he couldn't exist today. I mean, at the time, even in the the Dirty Harry movies. I mean, there. When was the first one made? The, the early late seventies, and then they kind of went through to the late eighties. Um, and he, I think he retired the character. At least retired his. his I think he retired the character. Fair to say, because uh, he's gone too old in his late fifties. Seemed unfair, you know. I think he had one more in him. But I digress. Um, you know, even at the time though, he's he's this on PC dude, like a cop out of time. Even more so now, watching it back, some of it seems, um, dated, to say the least. But, hey, it's a great watch. He's full of, uh, great catchphrases. He takes no shit. Literally talks about, uh, about dog shit in, um, oh, fuck, which one is it? Is it an Enforcer as well, maybe? Where, you know, some, some stuck-up punks are, uh, are getting away with, uh, with murder at the start, and he grabs one of them in the, in the lift, and he starts, like, <laughs> calling him dog shit or something. Um, but he doesn't really put it like that, he puts it in a kind of screwy way. He says a lot of things can happen to dog shit, so be careful where the dog shits you! So, he's, he's saying that you are dog shit, and you have to be careful, because the dog that you're inside of could shit you out somewhere bad, which is tremendously gross. I mean, that's like something... Not that I would danger to uh, to compare myself to Harry Callahan, but it sounds like something I would say. Let's try this this mad looking thing. Um, oh no, that's not going so good. Oh, it feels very um, it feels very lightweight and limp compared to the the might of the three five seven. Uh, can I even try and get like a handful of these? Oh. Hey, you know what? Uh, looks like an interesting piece of history. Model 10. But, you know, it feels light. feels shite. It's going the fucking bin. Woo! Um, so we're going to work up towards the, uh, the 357, like I said. Let's take a look at this mad thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know what it is. The LAPD 2019 special. So I assume this is a very modern um, law enforcement revolver. And goddamn, doesn't it look it? It looks insane. Like, it looks like it maybe couldn't even be a real gun. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to maybe read up on it afterwards. Um, but, you know, for now, let's take a look at it. Uh, doesn't mention what these rounds are, but they look very odd, don't they? Uh, does that say slugger? <laughs> well, a slugger is right, as you'll see in a second. Um, it even takes this little battery, which uh, I guess goes there. Listen to that, like a little beep. Um, so let's give it a go. Um, we'll just let those targets sort of sit and do their thing, you know. Hey, we, we got nowhere to go. That's bullshit. I, I, I do have uh, plenty of places to go. And I'm sure you do too. Um, I just don't have too much time this morning. 
So let's click it in. Um, I'm clicking them back in like this just because it's quite satisfying. But you know, you can you can uh, you can just lift it in yourself. Actually, it's easier said than done. That there we go. Um, so you know the. I thought a dot, oh, there's a little dot sight there. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's there. I mean, it's making a lot of noise. It's fired at this. It's uh, these are big rounds. But still, hey, you know, it feels cool, but it doesn't feel like a real revolver like this guy right here. So let's uh, tuck this into the bin or over the bin, as the case may be. We'll set the 357 over here for now. And we're going to start taking a look at the Magnum. The 44 Magnum, uh, as Dirty Harry himself says, the most powerful handgun in the world. That was a terrible impression. It sounded a bit like Arnold. Uh, you can see it's got the uh, uh, <laughs> the uh, the West and Smithson <laughs> branding there. That's quite good fun. Um, yeah, I assume these, these, uh, these guns probably aren't remotely licensed. I mean, we'll get the 357 out of the way. We'll leave it there for now in case we want to come back to it. Um, Let's pop our speed loader here. I mean, even using the speed loader is good fun. Um, you don't have to use the speed loader. You can, uh, you can do it one at a time. But let's uh, let's see how we get on with this. Anyway, that's great music for uh, for this. Uh, let's just slide the this turret just a little bit further away, just for a bit more of a challenge, and um, let's see how we get going on. Okay. Oh, oh, this could be tough. Balls. Okay, not great. I'm certainly no Kai Hallen at the uh, at the uh, at the range in Magnum Force, definitely in the movies where he battles a bunch of uh, vigilante cops. Kind of flips the idea of Dirty Harry on its head because hey, he's a cop that doesn't pay but doesn't play by the rules. But what happens when he faces up against a, a gang of rogue motorcycle cops? Start uh, doing away with anyone who doesn't agree with them. Oh, fuck. I nearly had six for six. Oh, I'm losing the run of it. I'm losing the run of it. Okay, not great. You know what? Let's leave those still there. I'm still down in a minute. Let's go full Callahan and stand up. That already feels more fucking badass. All right, let's see what we can do now. <laughs> Not much. Well, balls. All right, <laughs> let's try it again. Can we get any of these? Do I have any time? Oh my god! I feel like the dog shut me. I mean, I'm going to start making excuses. Oh, come on! I'm balls shooting revolvers in real life um, as well. I've only shot a couple. Um, that was as bad as this. I over egged it, sliding those targets further away. One more. Five for five. Hey, that's a good place to leave the vid. Um, listen, thanks for being with me for the rebirth of uh, Harry Callahan. Uh, thanks for watching me shoot these wheel gaps. It was really good fun. Um, I will uh, hopefully catch you guys soon. Um, hopefully you stick with me. Stick with me for more uh, silly shooting vids and trucking vids and, and what have you. Um, yeah, peace out, guys. I recommend you go and watch all the the Dirty Harry movies in order. Um, come back and tell me what you think. Thank <laughs> you.